today we're gonna to be taking a look at DeWalt's brushless five inch orbital sander. This thing is on the 20 volt max platform. I've got some Diablo sandpaper on here, just a 60 grit. I like these sandpapers just because they have multiple holes. So you don't really have to match it up too carefully. You just slap it right on there. I prefer to use the slim batteries. The reason being, is that the balance on it, if you put a larger battery on this, like this guy here, this is, I think this is a three and a half, three amp battery. You slide it on here. It does make it a little back heavy. You can kind of see how it wants to just flop back like that. I just like to be a little bit more balanced. Yeah, I'm not gonna get the same kind of run time, but I've got lots of these little slims, so it doesn't really bother me if I have to change them out multiple times just feels better i can maneuver my wrist a little easier it's not wanting to pull down on me which would affect my product that i'm sanding so that's what i typically run is is the slims now something else that's cool about this is the dust bag on it it just has the twist lock so you can hook dewalt's vacuum up to this they have the twist lock on it works really well i have that vacuum and it does fit on here perfectly got a variable speed on it and it goes from one all the way up to seven we'll start off on some low oscillations around eight thousand on level one and i'm just going to sand this thing as clean as i can so pretty quiet I also love how it just stops. This is one thing that used to bug me a lot about uh, orbital sanders is that when you would turn them off, they would still be moving around and you'd set it down on the table and it would just kind of vibrate around, bounce around until it stopped moving. This thing is just on and off, just dead off. I love that improvement. That alone is a reason to buy this. Now let's just maybe do a little dust test here see how well this works just for the dust collection smooth that out a little bit we'll try and suck this up for the most part i think it got a lot of it let's check it out i'd say i sucked up maybe oh there's more in there yeah like 75 percent that was a big pile it does suck in through the side and through the bottom here which is really really nice it's just super comfy it's got rubber over mold on the top you don't have to hold it like this you know you could sort of hold it like like this if you wanted get up on you know if you're up on a ladder that's one thing i like about being cordless is that if you're painting a house or something like that and you need to get up and sand some fascia boards or some window trim or whatever this is perfect because there's just no cord maybe just chuck a tether around it that way if you drop it you know it won't hit anybody in the head definitely a thumbs up to all i really really love this sander till next time keep on crushing it we'll catch you later